How's it going guys, girls, ladies, and gentlemen, here at Boundless Gamer. I'm going to quickly go over uh, Warp Conduits and Portal Conduits, how to open them, and what will help you keep them open. Very quickly, trying to keep this under 5 minutes, I haven't been able to do it yet. Portal Conduits are something you open that is a portal, has to be paid for with fuel, with an opening cost. We're going to go right into Blink Distance and that, so keep up. Blink distance is the distance you are from point A to point B. For instance, if we're here and we want to go anywhere around the nine square blocks of my portal, these all are planets outside of this square where we are. One blink distance is anything outside of that. Inside of the planet is going to count the same as one blink distance. It makes no difference there. When you go further out, We'll count this as about three blink distance is further out it's going to increase the cost of how much it is to use a warp conduit or a portal conduit it, as in cash the coin is used for warp conduits as a one-time destination these stay open and cost more for instance these are two one blink second away cost one orts an hour these guys are four they are going to cost three orts an hour. This in the back is a six. He is going to cost me, as soon as he wants to open, he's going to cost me four orts an hour for nine blink seconds. Then there's this dude over here. He is only a six blink second or four blink seconds is costing me three. All right. You see how the size difference counts? When you go to 10, 10 blink seconds or uh, not 10 blink seconds, when you get to 10 size on these things, it's going to be up to 16 blink seconds away. It's going to cost up 300 or more orch charge just to open things. So when you open these, they are going to have a cost, and then they're going to have an hourly charge. 16 blink seconds is about 6 orch shards an hour to keep open. And one shard gives you, or one stone gives you 10 shards. So expect to be needing a lot of shards to keep open a larger portal. And then you can keep going from there, but that's more than enough. Um, you're going to want to use multiple smaller ones to reduce the cost on what it's going to be. If you want to get around point A to point B, you just save you. Enough of that. Warp conduits. They're one-time portals to get you from point A to point B. You can't turn around and look back in, but friends can follow you through. You'll see this when it opens, you'll go through, but when you turn around, it will not be there. On the flip side, your friends will still see this portal. They can follow you in. When you do use portals on this side, mine sideways, ignore that, you can either get one of the four cost ones, or two, or whatever one that the people who have it at a location is doing. You come across, you buy the token on that side, because that's your target. Then you come up, this is, remember this is where you get your token from, put it in your portal, put it down here, put the 60 cost for a 2, about 100 cost for a 4, you put it in, put enough in there that the fuel shard is going to pay for as well, open the portal, and you're good to go. And that's how you get it to a different destination. You can reverse portal exit, which flips the portal looking the other way, you don't want to do that. And there you go, you put it back to where it was. And that's all you need to know about them. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. But always remember, left is helping, red is buying. Request baskets. They come in handy. Bye-bye. Portals are fun.